طلاب العربية طالبات العربية أهلا وسهلا بكم مرة أخرى في الدرس التاسع من المنحة درسنا اليوم هو الاسم والصفة يعني the noun and adjective Now, تذكروا We mentioned quite a few aspects about how a صفة works with the اسم So remember الصفة تتبع الاسم في الترتيب والمعرفة والجنس والعدد والإعراب يعني The adjective follows the noun in order meaning it comes after the noun المعرفة meaning indefiniteness or indefiniteness الجنس in gender العدد in number والإعراب in case ending meaning what does it do in the sentence is it a subject, is it an object, what is it describing and there is agreement in voweling in that sense so look at the example we have New York مدينة كبيرة now كبيرة follows in order it is indefinite like the word Medina it's feminine like the word Medina it's singular like the word Medina and it's also taken two dhammas at the end that's marking its a'rab to tell us what function it has in the sentence مفرد مؤنث نكرة مرفوع The exception is إلا مع جمع غير العاقل فتبقى الصفة مفردا مؤنثا Remember when we talked about plurals we said non-human plurals are treated as feminine singular مثال دمشق وبيروت وصنعاء مدن كبيرة so Damascus, Beirut, and Sana'a are big cities. Now, mudun jama' ghayr aql. It's a non-human plural. Therefore, the word here, the, the proper way of using the adjective is also the singular feminine. So, kabiratun. So, hada wal jama' wa hada mufrad wa mu'anna. Let's talk now about another type of sifa. يا النسبة It's a يا that is attached at the end of nouns to indicate some relationship between the adjective or the person also and a place or something. So يا تتصل باسم لتفيد علاقة ما بين الصفة والموصوف between the صفة the adjective and the noun that it describes. مثال مصر That's the noun for Egypt. أحمد مصري By adding the ya of النسبة at the end we are establishing a relationship between أحمد and مصر Here it is a relationship of affiliation or of origin السعودية الرياض مدينة سعودية Once again we took the word the name of the country and then we eliminated a few things from it because it became an adjective. So now it doesn't have the alif lam because it's described in Madinatun which is indefinite and it has to agree with it. Once again, notice that the ya is there. Now it's saying the city of Riyadh is a Saudi city. Or Riyadh is a Saudi city. Jami'atun. We can actually make also a nisba adjective from this. We can say Dana Ustadatun Jami'iyatun. To make a difference between a professor or a teacher who teaches in an elementary school, secondary school, or university. We can say, Adab, aqra'u al-kutub al-adabiyyata. Now, we took the word adab, and by adding the yav nisbah, we're saying, I like to write, read literary books. Marratan ukhra, shukran lakum, wa ma'a salama, wa ila liqa fi darsin al-qadim.